Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I got a quick GT Online video for you guys. And this weekend I will promise that I have that video coming up of just me making a scammer rage that I think you guys are going to really appreciate it. It has been going to be a pretty long video, a lot of editing in it, but in that video I basically tricked the scammer and he was pissed. It was the angriest scammer ever called. I think you guys are going to love it. It's going to be up this weekend. And I'm also working on the Pegarino lore video. It's turning out to be a really, really big project, taking me up a lot of time. But when I'm done with it, I think you guys are going to understand why it took so long. And I think you will really enjoy it. It's going to be one of my best lore projects ever. But anyways, on today's video, uh, we're going to be talking about a subject people have been speculating on since basically the Doomsday Heist, or possibly even earlier than that. Since 2017, people have been speculating on when GT Online is going to truly end. And we know that this December, we know that we are going to get a GTA on uh, a GTA 6 trailer. That has been basically confirmed by Rockstar. It is not some clickbait garbage, not some speculation garbage. We know that we are going to get a GTA 6 trailer. So the question now is, when will GTA Online end? So basically, I made a video half a year ago. And in that video half a year ago, um, I talked about when I think GTA Online support will end for PS4 and Xbox One, and my answer for that is still the same. I don't think that GTA Online support on PS4 and Xbox One is going to end, and then PS5 and Xbox Series X is going to keep going. What I think is going to happen is I think that both of them, both PS4, Xbox One, and PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC, all of them will cut support at the same time. I think they're all going to, uh, they're all going to stop uh, getting support. Now, when I say stop getting support, I'm not talking about the servers being cut and you're not able to play GT Online. You will still be able to play GT Online the same is Red Dead Online, you just will not be getting any kind of updates. You might, you'll be getting like, you know, monthly events, stuff like that, you know, double money on certain businesses, sure. But, you know, when it comes to updates, I'm pretty certain that they are going to end pretty soon. Now, my prediction on this, I think that the final update is going to be either this December, next month, or I think it's going to be, uh, in the summertime. That I'm pretty positive on that. I'm 95% certain on that. I'm not 100% certain on that because you don't know, but the reason that I think that it's going to end pretty soon is the re the reason is for this. Is think about it this way. If Rockstar releases a really big update on GTA Online, let's say that Rockstar let's say that GTA 6 is coming out next December. You know, let's just say theoretically, right? GTA 6 is coming out next December and that same December, because Rockstar releases updates in every July and every December, typically. Two updates a year. If GTA 6 comes out, you know, ne next year, around the holidays, and then Rockstar releases a update on GTA Online, and let's just say that it's a big update, that would really make no sense. Because what would happen is it would affect their sales, because there would be people that would still want to play that big update in December time. What, right the same month that GTA 6 comes out, and they might not buy GTA 6 until they're done with all the stuff in GTA Online. That's definitely a possibility. So what I think is going to happen is I think the final update for GTA Online is going to be pretty soon, and Rockstar is probably going to take a pretty significant break between the final GTA Online update and GTA 6, I'd say probably a year. That's probably what's going to happen. So you probably won't have any content for a year. This makes more sense to me personally from a business perspective, because think about it, if GTA Online releases its final update this December, Rockstar releases a trailer for GTA 6, gets everybody excited, and then says this is going to be the final DLC for GT Online, and we're going out with a bang, we're getting a big DLC, we're putting this new business in, whatever they have planned for the next... Uh, uh, GTA Online. And then for basically what happens is the next year you're just playing GTA Online but you don't have any content and then GTA 6 comes out. That's going to get a lot of players excited and they're going to be wanting new content immediately. They're going to want something new to play and it's just going to help GTA 6. So basically that's just personally what I think. I'm not saying GTA 6 is coming out next year by the way but I was just saying theoretically that if it, if as an example. I think that there's going to be some kind of pause between the final GTA Online update and GTA 6, and it's going to be so that people get excited, they want new content, and they're going to be more eager to buy GTA 6 when it comes out. I don't think that Rockstar is going to be dropping GTA, GTA Online updates until, you know, the last month, until GTA 6 comes out. I just don't think that that's going to happen, personally. Now, the other thing that I want to say is the, the re other reason that I think GTA Online is going to end soon it's not even because it's a 10-year anniversary. It's not even because of GTA 6. The second reason that I think it's going to end soon is because Rockstar is really running out of room for updates in GTA Online. And when I say that Rockstar is running out of room, I'm not talking about gigabytes. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about room in the map. 
Because when you think about it, and you guys have seen you know, me doing a few things in this, you just see me just running around, this is, you know, some older footage, but you guys see me just running around in, you know, my MC, uh, yeah, as a biker, and then you saw me in inside my facility, and I'm messing around with a Chernobog now, and then later in the video you'll see me in the agency, you know, three major updates, bikers, um, a Doomsday Heist, and the contract DLC. Rockstar, the, and these three locations are different places, and some of these um, updates have different locations for these businesses. Rockstar is actually running out of buildings that they can use new businesses in, because when you think about it, there's just so many businesses, arcades, facilities, apartments, uh, you know, auto shop garages, warehouses, there's this MC businesses, there's just so much stuff that's just all over the place that there really are not that many new buildings that Rockstar could design for some kind of update unless they go for an update without a business or they make a um, a map expansion, something like Cayo Perico. Again, because when you think about it, just look at all the missions that you have in this game. All the missions you're going down different alleyways, um, different streets. There's pretty much every single street in GTA Online or every single alley at this point has some kind of mission that takes place there. Whether it's a contact mission, an MC contract, a CEO work, a uh, agency contract, a uh, uh, client job. There are just so many places where just missions take place, heist preps to, set up missions, that you are pretty much running out of places that you could put new missions and new stuff in. So they really have done so much with this map. They've added so many interiors that I actually do think that they're running out of out of places to actually put updates. And the only way that I could see them adding a big update is with two things. Is either they're going to make a map expansion like Cayo Perico, some new heist location, or two, they're going to add mansions. Because mansions are something they have not done before. They haven't really went after the, the mansion locations. However, though, they are actually even running out of room for mansions because there are certain contact missions that actually take you to mansions, and if the players can actually buy that mansion later on, it's going to make absolutely no sense whatsoever. If there's like a contact mission at a mansion, and then you can also buy that mansion, it will be like your safe house, and you're going to your safe house during a mission to kill somebody. It doesn't really make any sense. So that's just personally what I think. I think that this December or this summertime, and don't take my word for this 100%. This is just what I personally think. I'm I'm willing to admit that I'm wrong, but basically I'm taking the same position that I took from half a year ago. I think there's going to be a significant break between the final GTA Online update and GTA 6, and I think that there's just not that much stuff that they can personally do with GTA Online, which also explains why the updates have been getting smaller in recent years. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, do drop a like. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.